I didn't fight cancer in order to die from COVID. Jaquetta Williams here. I know a lot of people have had something to say in regards to the vaccine, whether they're going to take it or didn't want to take it. I was first one of those people who really had trepidation about taking the vaccine and really skewed more towards I wasn't going to do it until I really hunkered down and did some investigating myself to find out whether or not I wanted to take the vaccine and I changed my mind and I just had my second shot the Pfizer vaccine so let me tell you three reasons why I decided to take the vaccine. One was when I was going through cancer, I knew exactly what chemo was going to do to my body. And I found out and I studied what the vaccine could do to my body. And my chances of survival were very good in regards to the vaccine. Number two, I had a relative who was in their 90s who had the first vaccine and probably around when they got the first vaccine may have already gotten COVID. However, there were slight, small symptoms that that relative had, loss of taste buds, a fever, but that family member did not die and was able to get the second shot. Again, that family member in their 90s. The third reason I decided to take the vaccine was I did heavy research. I really wanted to get back to life and I didn't want to encounter anybody with COVID and didn't have the vaccine and the possibility of me surviving was zero. So I realized even with the vaccine, it does not make me immune to COVID, but it does make me more likely that if I do encounter someone with COVID or encounter COVID in any way, the likelihood of me dying will not happen. I also wanna let you know what I did in order to prepare for my shot. I doubled up on my vitamin D, I doubled up on my vitamin C. I took a pain reliever before I went to go get my shot. I also took a lot of omega-3. I took apple cider vinegar with ginger. I took turmeric. And then I just took plain old apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And I did these things, I do these things every day anyway, but the days or the weeks leading up to me taking the shot, I doubled up on all of those things. And the first shot, I had absolutely no side effects, nothing, no fever, no, no nothing, like nothing. The second shot, I still, I've helped felt nothing. The only thing that I can say that I experienced an area where the shot was administered, which was in my right arm, if I touched it, it was tender to the touch. I understand taking the vaccine is a personal decision. It is a personal decision. It is a personal decision. So I am not telling you to take it. I'm not telling you not to take it. All I'm doing is sharing with you what I did and I will also admit, there is a level of peace of mind that I have now, knowing that I've had both Pfizer vaccines and that if I am in contact with anyone who has also been fully vaccinated, then the likelihood of we, me wearing a mask is a no. And it makes me feel a little bit more closer to having a normal life. Again, I did not fight cancer in order to die from COVID, and I won't.